Kyle Lejeski, Mid-Atlantic Area Manager, coming to you live from our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. More specifically, the White House, the economic epicenter of the U.S. economy. And I'm here to talk to you today about really kind of the economic epicenter of the data center, which certainly seems to be the all-flash revolution that we're all living through over the last seven or eight years. But really, in order to understand where we are today with EMC's nearly 50% market share in Extreme I.O., our all flash array offering. We have to understand where we came from, starting first with really the first generation. Um, Wibicon more or less did a white paper review that went through these four iterations or generations of flash architecture in the data center. And they started with generation one, which really was nothing more than the traditional storage array that provided some sort of hybrid nature flash. Certainly improved performance, had some spindle consolidation, but really wasn't any architectural uh, deviation from traditional storage design. Um, customers had moderate success, but wanted more. That really brought us to generation two. Generation two was the hybrid design, but brought in a more simplified fashion. We saw vendors like Tintree and Nimble bring a simplified flash appliance that really was dual controller, uh, scaled up, and might have serviced a workload or two, didn't really provide any advanced data services or data reduction, just really simplified the deployment of the hybrid array model. Um, again, an advancement from generation one, but still customers wanted more. That brought us to generation three, and generation three is really where we saw flash adoption at a larger scale. Uh, we had vendors like uh, Texas Memory and Pure Storage that challenged the hybrid concept of generation one and two, and really tried to deploy flash in a true all flash offering. And it was met with marginal success. Um, the workloads were faster, the performance was better, there were data services offered like deduplication and compression, but there wasn't really any change to architecture. These were still built on dual controller scale-up designs and they were still deployed with traditional storage management concepts like RAID and LUNs and scale-up dual controller design. So ultimately, what started to happen is customers needed to choose between performance of all flash and the efficiency of inline or always working data services. And ultimately, if they wanted both, we saw the architectural limits of a dual controller scale up design inhibit that ability, such that some of these Gen 3 architectures, when put under load, performed worse, right, than their mechanical uh, generation one and generation two hybrid counterparts. So ultimately we get to this generation four, which is really where uh, EMC's Extreme IO stands alone. And Wibicon really defines generation four as the only architecture that will sustain any long-term relevance in this flash market. And this is really the ability to fundamentally change the design of dual controller scale up to multi-controller scale out in Extreme IO's world up to literally 16 active controllers um, unleashing the bandwidth and scale and performance concerns of those generation one two and three dual architecture systems we also now provide data services in a much different way because we can share memory across all of the controllers in the system, I can provide things like deduplication and compression and writable snapshots in an online, inline, all the time fashion, which ultimately allows me to drive predictable workload consolidation. And this really is the reason why the Gen 4 all flash architecture is the architecture that will be here to stay and the architecture that will win. Uh, at this point, uh, I believe I have now passed my Gen 4 All Flash Array certification handed down to me from Matt Hickey. And I'd allow, like to nominate uh, my district managers in the area, Raf Kyoto, Sean Connor, Heath Vink, Jeremy Snell, and lastly, Gabe Sales Smith to become Gen 4 Extreme IO certified. It's been our great customer success with telling the story, outlining the differences in the architecture, and then ultimately 
customer success in real world workloads that has catapulted Extreme IO to a nearly 50% market share with over 3,000 systems shipped, 1,500 customers, and literally a billion dollar annualized run rate in this single uh, product subset within the EMC portfolio. It's a great story, it's a great message, and I challenge everybody watching to get certified and understand the flash revolution and the flash generational differences, and ultimately why Extreme IO is positioned so uniquely. Thanks, and make it a great day. Signing off from the nation's capital, Kyle Ajeski. Goodbye.